Well, good evening, campers. It's uh, 1906, 22nd of June. Just been watching Points West on the television. And they're on about looking for 15 people that pull this Colston hall. This bloke Colston pulled his statue down and fired it in the, the harbour because it's like criminal damage. But what I don't understand is they're pulling down this statue throw it in the harbour because black lives matter they're taking the sign of the coast and hold down because he was a slave trader because black lives matter but they're not going to pull down coast and all are they you get what I'm getting at you know this money over slavery has paid for all these things but I don't know, disingenuous, I don't know what, what the word is. But um, they're quite prepared to keep the building. But they don't want it glorified with his name. Although, slaves trading help pay for it. So, if you want to keep it, it's Coast and Hall. Isn't it Coast and Hall? Shouldn't it be Coast and Hall and telling you all about it being built by slave traders? Instead of trying to cover it all up. I don't know. It might just be me. But. If you want this thing. About. Not talking about slaves. And not what's it. It doesn't go away. It's not gone away. All the people that were slaves. All the people that were fucking slaves. They were whipped. They were killed. They were raped. Whatever happens. Whatever you do now. You cannot change that at all. You can't change history. But you can tell people about it, bring it to the fore, and say, you know, like, I don't know what his fucking name is, so he coaxed him, wasn't it? But he's good, he was a good man, he done what he'd done for the city, but he'd done it with um, slave trading money, you know, or part slave trading money, which ain't good. But it is what happened, it is what's happened. So taking his name down, don't make a difference. Chucking him in, in the in the canal or in the in the harbour makes no difference. You know, running through the streets, these black people running through as well, white people as well, but not so many white people, more black people running through the streets and fucking smashing the place up and looting. They're not black people; they're fucking thugs, hooligans. Or what fucking colour they are, are they? You know, just does my head in, you know. And I find saying black lives matter, I find that really fucking racist. Because by saying something matters, in my mind, you're saying that everything else doesn't matter. Just me. Just a point. Just the way I think. Don't all lives matter. Everybody's lives matter. All lives matter. You know, and it's, oh, I don't know, it's like, I don't know, I just can't get, I just can't get my fucking head around it. And everybody pussyfooting around all these fucking hooligans and that, you know, it's like the police in America. I bet 99% of them are all right. But you don't hear about that, do you? You know, it's like when you get bikers, isn't it? get the hell's angels you know when they do wrong everybody remembers but when they do right nobody remembers or when they do wrong nobody forgets when they do right nobody remembers like when they go around Christmas and buy fucking bikes and toys for hospitals and deprived children you know you lot fucking just see what you want to see don't you you know, middle class, privileged, fucking white. I was going to say people, but I think more or less middle, middle class, privileged, white girls. Ones that have never fucking had to want for fuck all in their lives. They're the ones that seem to have more to say about it all. But that's just my observance. Nothing to do with me. You know what I mean? You know, i got some fucking good black friends. i got some black friends that I fucking like as well. But it's, 
just beyond me. I mean, you can't keep looking back and, and trying to make it right, because whatever you do, you can't make it fucking right, because it's already happened. We've got to be looking forward to make it right, don't we? You know, we've got to make your white, your black, your black, your white, your yellow, your fucking this, your that, your the other. Your privileged, your underprivileged. You know, so that's the way of the world, isn't it? Not the way. So why they bring a law in? But all black men have got to marry white women, and all white men have got to marry black women. Two generations will all be coffee coloured. That'll be something else we can't fucking argue about. That's a bit flippant, really. But when you think about it, there's a lot of fucking truth in it, isn't there? Total fucking bollocks it is. How somebody can fucking dislike somebody or hate somebody because of the colour of their skin or because of their fucking religion. Fucking beyond me. Fucking beyond me. Because religion's a fucking fantasy anyway, isn't it? I don't know. Beyond me. Anyway, I'm not usually serious, but I'm serious about this. You know, if you're going to chuck a statue in the fucking harbour, and you're going to change the name of the building, well, pull the fucking building down. If you don't agree with it, you know, you can't agree with bits of it. But whatever happens, remember, you can't change anything. You know, I started this video. I could not put this video up. But I can't change what I've said in it. Yeah, you know, all these fucking wankers running around doing all this fucking damage and, you know, just fucking beyond me, just beyond me. Just beyond me. Anyway, peeps, you all stay safe and look after each other. And when this one minute metre rule comes out, tell them to go fuck themselves. You're staying two metres away. Do what I do. Just do your best to stay fuck away from everybody. Anyway, I'll speak to you all later. Remember, I look after each other. Stay classy. No fighting. Bye-bye.